Hey everyone, here we are again doing some more ham radio stuff and I wanted to show you this really cool phone case. This is a phone, iPhone 8 Plus. It's a case that is also a, let me hold the power button, it's a UHF uh, transceiver. It's pretty cool. It's got a little antenna on it. It come with another little stubby that I thought was like a dummy load but it's not. It's just like a rubber cap so you can take the antenna off. And then it also came with a longer antenna. Uh, whatever. I, I'm trying it out. I've only had it for about a week. Uh, I've been playing with it here and there. The battery lasts so far the entire time. I don't always have it turned on. But uh, uh, I don't know how many milliamp hours, whatever. Uh, whatever. Let me, uh, the PTT is right here on the side. This is right here. I'm going to push it and you'll see that it transmits. Let me get this where we can see this. Okay, here we go. Push. And that's linked to my GMRS repeater. <clears throat> I've looked for these before, and it seems like they only are available for maybe a month or two, and then they're no longer being sold or whatever. Uh, this isn't the very first kind of cell phone case that has a radio in it. Uh, and I think the reason they don't last so long is because they're illegal. You can see it's a ham radio, but that's not a ham band. That's a GMRS band. So they're... I think they just changed their name, changed the design a little bit, and it uh, takes a little while for them to be caught. But anyway, uh, there's another cable here somewhere that comes with it, and I have no idea where it is. It's a cable that you can actually... You see, that's where you would charge the cell phone on the bottom, and the blue part, that's where you charge the radio. There's a cable that goes from the radio back to the cell phone, so you can charge it off of the battery inside here. So you have charged both things separately. But with that one cable, you can use the battery that's in the radio to charge the cell phone. So it's, uh, it's pretty neat. It come from Radio Diddy, Ditty, Did Ditty, whatever. Uh, and it's pretty self-explanatory. It has offsets, it has tones, it has whatever for it. But it's only UHF. There, there's no VHF on this. <clears throat> uh, I think this one is the GM5. And the 4 slash 5 slash 6, that's just the size uh, it fits different different size phones, and uh, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty rugged, I guess is a word. Uh, I don't know, but it works, and it's it's kind of neat. I don't know. It's got the range of uh, any other UHF radio. You no. Know. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot more testing on this, and just kind of see how long it lasts and whatever. The one thing I don't like is the the glass is right at the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Most cell phone cases kind of have a little bit of a lip, but this one does not. So I'll probably end up having to put a screen protector on there, if I even keep it on there. I don't know. Just something kind of fun. Thought, uh, thought I might share that with you guys. And if you guys have ever played with any of these things, it was around 50 bucks, something like that, from Radio Did D uh, Radio... What? Radio Did D T, I I guess. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I don't know. Let's do another thing here. Transmit. Release. The repeater's going to talk back at me. Pretty cool. Okay, people. That's it. Just wanted to give you a little update on that. And uh, maybe we'll do some field testing with it some other time. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. As always, have a good one.